cool. So we've got all the uh, um, flow done, all the text done. Now it's just a matter of implementing. Okay. So here is how I would implement it. So once we've done the yellows, now is to create the um, questions where the chatbot asks something. So this is in a survey, right? So okay. next we want to go into a survey. Oh, okay. Then okay. we create what the bot is going to ask. So the first thing the bot is going to ask is, can we have your name please? Right? So we just copy that. Right? Add the survey. Name the survey as, can we have your name please? Or whatever you want to name it. Can? Yeah, and then the question will be there. Can we have your name please? So we're going to save it in a custom field. What is the custom field? We're going to save it in first name. Right? Okay. And then that's it. Done. First one done. This one done lah. Question, answer, done. Okay. Right. Next is, we want to ask, are you looking to send your items to JB Singapore? Let's see again. So, so this is another survey that we're going to create. So we add a survey. So let's name this. Um, so JB or Singapore, it's like that. So then we do like that. So we want to save it in the custom field. So if you remember what custom field is service type. Okay? So let's oh, okay. look for service type. There you go, service type. Then create, done. So our second question and answer, done. So next survey is, which, our, which is our next question answer is for how can I help you, All right? Great, copy that. Let's copy plug. Create another survey. Name the survey. How can I help you today? And then we post it there. Thanks. Da -da -da. Save this. Let's see where do we save it. We save it inside. Tada save. Great. So we just don't save it. Fine. And then, so you know what would be great actually. Yeah? You should save it. You should save it. Because you want to know what later on is it that they want, right? Okay. Oh, okay. So we should save it. So let's create one. Kat sini. Let's create a um, field. So this one, uh, the the custom field, apa kita nak tulis? Interested in? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Interested in query type. Query type. Q, Q, query dot type. Query type? Yeah. Query type. Query type. Um, yeah, query type is a little bit uh, vague. Okay. More specific would be um, what is your main thing that they want? So we can see what's the main thing that they want from you guys, can? Okay. Why? Why this is important? So later on, you can figure out how many people actually want to ask for product, you know, products to deliver. How hmm. many is actually not tahu delivery duration? Okay. So out of hundred people, you can see that maybe 30, 30, 30, or 30, 40, whatever. Alright. Okay. Right. So if query type, um, every single one is query type. So you got query type. Uh -huh. satu kan? Uh, yeah, ini could be but maybe main menu or main interest or main main query that be good also something like that okay i get i get mm. i get where you're going with this okay yeah so yeah, what, what would you suggest um uh, interest uh what is <laughs> main inter main interest main query yeah mm, something like that what do, yeah. what do you think main interest or main query uh main interest main interest good main interest okay good so what we do is we go and go to settings and then we create a custom field add another custom field is main dot interest great text done great so we go back to our survey then we want to create this main interest near q and a copy that oh that is in edit that so we want to save this in the main interest punya. Okay, oh, so we don't want text, right? So what we want is we want a add a question, we want multiple choice. Mm, okay. So we take over here, copy this again. It's there. And then we have these three things. Price quotation, copy that, put in the options, can enter, right? And then products we deliver, deliver, copy, paste, tengok ijaan okay eh? Oh, salah ijaan. Okay, and then enter. Okay, perfect. So this one, so, okay. And then delivery duration, great. 
Perfect. And then you can also allow custom answers, right? Tapi kalau you allow custom answers, this susah nak buat uh, automation after this. Okay. Because we're going to automate based on what is written here. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, and if they don't choose this, we can add a fallback message, right? So fallback message would be, um, usually what I say is, um, this chatbot can only send simple messages for now. Please choose from the options below. So I, I will see. Okay. So and if we we'll, still don't choose, then it will run three times. Oh, okay. Right. So after three times, it will just hang. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. So when, once that happens, then you need to go in and you can speak to that person again, and then you can send them the where they got stuck. Go send them the the survey again. So I'll show you how that's done. Okay. Okay. Save it on custom field. So this one would be save it inside main interest. And we might also want to save it as a tag, right? So you can count how many people click on this as a tag. Great. Okay. Done. Update. Great. So we've done that one. Now, they to, oh, I want price quotation. Oh, perfect. So great. For price quotations, I'll need to ask you some questions. And then uh, we're going to ask this question here, right? So another survey. Okay, I know the type of products you want to send. Just choose from below. Okay, like that. So we add a survey. This is, the name is product category. Okay, we just name the product category. Mm -hmm. So this one under four product categories. Okay, first product category is food, clothes. Shirts is food, clothes, like that. Then general items, documents. General items, then is documents. Okay, perfect. And then uh, fallback message, you can just copy from the past one. Kita kat sini, right? Save a custom field. We want to save it inside product category. Category, save as tag. Great. Create that. Perfect. Then, um, we will say, please tell more about your items. And then the question we're going to ask is description of items. Right? So, do you want to put these two inside the same bubble? Um, yeah, I think keep it together will be better. Together with that. So, copy that. So, we do like this. Get this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we copy that. So, we create another. So, an item description. Add survey. We call this item description okay so mobile items description of items so we're gonna get not a uh, not multiple choice again so we don't multiple choice we want to delete this so we're gonna add a question just normal text question okay, okay. then we paste the link as it save as custom field where do we want to save it item description item description there you go mm -hmm. uh, this, all this custom field that we just created uh, mm -hmm. it will be showing on um, our messages uh, you know when so let's say if right now i have uh, other stuff that are mm -hmm. working on the messages you okay, will see all these other fields right now so what's going to happen is if you go to messages it will come out here kalau kita dapat sini packing quantity main interest item quantity semua kat sini so this is already live like this uh, this fields are already showing Yes, so your people can already see these fields. Okay. Right? So your people can already see these fields, so they can see, uh, see from here. And then you can do all other automations also. You can put it inside your, your Google Sheets. If you not transfer it, you can also put it inside um, your CRM. Can. So that's the power of it. Lah. And then, um, based on what is said inside of these fields, you could even create more automations after that. This uh this field can we uh sort them? Is it uh, can we arrange which one to be on top, or is this? Mm, oh, it is uh, alphabetical. 
It's alphabetical. Yes, alphabetical order from the ones that we create. So custom fields um, are the are alphabetical. Lah. So the rest kat sini ni is just the the apa the default punya will go first and then the ones okay. that you create at bottom. Okay, all right. Right, so let's go back to surveys. Let's create all our surveys. We were just now, we're done at item description. Now we want to go item quantity lah eh. At survey, item quantity. So let's copy this one, uh, quantity of items. Okay. Okay, great. So, quantity of items, uh, okay. Go to mark, save custom field, and then sini is we we'll save it item quantity. Is it correct? Yes. Next would be number of items. So save that. So at next survey, next survey is a uh, packing quantity. Packing quantity. Great. So in quantity, we're going to save it inside just a regular text. And then what we're going to ask is number of cartons of bags. Gitu. Save custom field. And then making quantity. You go create. Next would be dimensions. Survey, dimensions, dimensions, find. Dimensions. Did I miss it? Okay. Nice. All right. After dimensions is estimated weight. Right here at survey. Estimated weight. Okay. So we will ask here estimated weight. Save custom field in. Where are we saving it? Weight. Weight. And then. This is a val invoice value. Invoice value and in voice value. Invoice value here, boom. Okay. Then, mm -hmm, if you have okay, 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 good. Add and then invoice value. Create. All right. Next would be pickup. At survey, we go here, would be pick up. Mm -hmm. Save it in pick up. Pick up, huh? pick up. Oh, no, this one is yes, no. So we want to create a different one, not this one. We want to add a multiple choice. Put it there. And this one is yes. Let's pick up. Huh? Yes, pick up. Why I'm doing this is about kalau you just go to yes, mm -hmm. then uh, kita nak buat automation later on, we can't remember yes what, right? Oh, okay. So, here we put it so that we know exactly yes, comma, yes, pick up, and then no pick up. No. So copy that here, great, and then save custom field, save it under pickup, pickup, save tag. So the tag that is saved is this one. So you, you, uh, somebody can go in and see what is the tag. They can read yes pickup and no pickup. Kalau yes no je, they don't know yes no what kan? So this tag is only for like uh, choices, multiple choices. Correct, yes. Okay. Okay. Right, done. And then we want to go here. This is pickup address. Last one. Add here. Pickup address. So we want to do different questions. A text. Paste it there. Save it custom field. Pickup address. Okay, create. Great. And the rest is done. Okay, nice. Okay, now we're in the final punya stage. 
Now we want to link it all together using automation. Okay? So once this is done, kita dah boleh test.